hello guys welcome to another video so today i'm going to show you how to make an interactive animation in which there will be squares and circles of different sizes and different colors and they will be moving in random directions inside the canvas and the sizes will increase when the mouse moves over them and then when these move away from the mouse position then these will shrink back to the original size so let's start the code but first please go and subscribe my channel to get updates of my latest videos okay so let's start so first you have to open sublime text 3 and go to file a new file then save this with dot html or dot htm extension here and open one more file and save it with the dot js extension so i have index.html and canvas square.js now in the html file just type less than an html and then just enter so you will see this format will come so this whole format will come in this you just have to change the title you have to enter the title you have to uh, add canvas inside the body and also you have to add the script tag to link the javascript file inside this html file and also you have to add the style tag so that you can change some of the properties of the canvas or the body now let's start with the javascript so first you have to declare a variable here i have declared canvas so you have to declare a variable which will represent the canvas by using query selector so you will have to use var canvas equal to document dot query selector and then inside it canvas and then you have to adjust the side of the canvas using canvas width equal to window dot inner width and you same will be applied for the height after this you have to set a variable c for pushing anything into the canvas now in this what we have to do is we'll check if the distance between the position of the square and the position of the mouse is less than 50 or not if it is less than 50 then the size will increase to a certain value otherwise it will not so first we have to take the x and y coordinates of the mouse so you will do that by using mouse and then inside x undefined and y undefined and also you have to set the maximum length of the square so var maximum side equal to 70 then you have to generate an array for colors and you can add as many colors as you can i have added just five and you have to add the hexadecimal value or you can simply write the names also then you have to add an even listener for the mouse movement so you can see two even listener first even listener is for resizing the frame if your window is minimized or maximized then it will automatically adjust the canvas and the second one is for the mouse movement so in this you will set the x and y position of the mouse as the current x and y position then you have to declare a function square okay i have declared rectangle so the parameters are x and y that is the position and then dx and dy are the increase in x coordinate and y coordinate and then the side of the square so this is for making squares of different colors so the code for making a square is c dot fill rect and then inside it this dot x comma this dot y comma this dot size and then again comma this, this dot size because length and breadth are same for a square and also you have to fill random colors by using math.random function and then using c.fill style you can fill the squares with these colors then you have to create a function update 
is the function so using which you will be able to move the squares and and when these squares touch the walls or the boundaries of the canvas then these will automatically change its direction so as to remain in the canvas so for that these two if statements are used and the positions are increased using dx and dy then you have to check the distance between each square and the mouse and if it is less than 50 then the side will automatically increase to the maximum length and if the side is more than the actual length then this will decrease then inside the init function here it will push all the squares inside the canvas and the canvas size will readjust in the window this means if the window is minimized or maximized then this will readjust the size of the canvas after this function animate will be used for the movement of all the squares and for that we have used request animation frame and then inside it animate and then c dot clear rectangle and then inside it 0 0 inner width and inner height and we are using a for loop also for the movement and at last you have to call all these functions which you have declared earlier like this console.log and then inside canvas is for the console part which will not be displayed on the screen but you can go to the inspect all elements and you can see there so now we have done this coding and we have linked this javascript to the html file also so we will just run the program now so here is the program see all the squares you can see some are big some are very small and these are of different colors also and these are moving in random directions and when we touch the boundaries they will automatically bounce back now let's move the mouse over these so you can see they increases their size automatically to a certain size and then when this mouse moves away from them then they automatically decrease so you can see So now after this we can make the same for the circles also so I'll just open the file this is the file so this is the file for the circle it's same and this just you have to draw a circle for that you have to use C dot arc this dot x this dot y this dot radius and then math dot pi zero is the starting angle and math dot pi into two is the ending angle so this is same now let's just change this to canvas dot js so we are linking this to the circle one just save this and run just refresh this so now you can see the circles so here so this is for the circle I've changed the colors so this is all for today thank you guys and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't